All right, buddy, welcome back. So, based off that note we found on the last episode, I want to take another look real quick and see if we can find anything over at the Ivanpah Lake Bed. This will get bloody. Target spotted. Target spotted. Oh, we got turds. Turds are fighting the queen. Check uh, ant caves, maintenance tunnel, yeah. Maintenance tunnel. Pit stop, bomb shelter. This side is still considered uh, part of the lake bed once we cross the road. Kill them all. Dead man walking. Target silence. Scorpion burrow. I mean, it says we've already been in there, so. Who are you? 
Those cons got the hint. We've shown everyone. seen anything. I I kind of have a feeling it's similar to that death cavern where like, it was really just a joke. There's not anything out here. Because we have pretty much combed over this entire lake bed. I don't want to spend too much time just circles. Check the far corner real quick, but I'm not really expecting anything. Alter. I forgot what this was from. Was this from uh, Bounties? Nelson's back in our hands. Yeah, hello. Hope we can defend it this time. Mr. Jameson. Something happening? Uh, you Jameson, I got a package for you from Silas Greeb. Oh, yeah. Was wondering when I was going to get this. Hope you don't want me saying anything too goofy. Too goofy? Uh. Oh, this isn't bad. All right. I'm heading up towards the Iron Town. But I ain't taking the quick route. Going to take as many detours as I can. Figure I can stop, sell some wares, buy some essentials, and now gossip about this fancy new prim saloon. Easy enough. Okay, yeah, what's Iron Town? Huh? Oh. Independent township, a bit to the west and a lot to the north. The way I hear it, places full of ore mines and old world factories. A lot of untapped old resources for enterprising folks, you know. Where it is, a bunch of NCR folks set up shop, working the mines and repairing the foundries. Struck by eye and fever, the lot of them, I say. But there ain't no law to speak of up there, and they ain't got any ground fit for crops or livestock. They need food. Jameson got food. I might not be some starry-eyed fool wetting himself over old world metal. But it don't take no genius to see that that place will make a smart man rich. Uh, you hear anything about the supposed- Oh, you hear anything about the supposed treasure of Ivanpah Lake? Listen, son. I've been around a while, and I ain't never once heard of nobody pulling a fortune out of the dirt. That's all foolishness, believe you me. You want to get rich without putting in no work? Best say a few prayers and step up to the tables in Vegas. There have been stories of buried treasure for as long as people have had shovels. On the rare occasion they find something, it's old world trash. Trust me, you're better off not listening to that ignorant nonsense. Uh, Silas says you owed him this favor. What's the story there? Well, he's an old friend of some of them bishop folk back west around Reno. And the bishops, well, they're tight with the bureaucrats back in Shady. Basically, his buddies spoke to their buddies who spoke to their buddies, and it all ended with me getting some choice prices on goods from the hub. A lot of crap that won't do no good around civilized parts. A 
But those brave fools on the frontier will pay an arm and a leg to grab it up. <laughs> okay. Take care of yourself. Something happening? Nope. Um. So is it to the north and the west? I'm curious. Can we actually go there? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Back to Prim. So are you planning on putting a roof on this place? Yes. I killed the ghoul and delivered your message. Brilliant. And while you were away dealing with uncouth corpses that lack the common fucking courtesy to die when they start rotting, Eli returned. See? We're already getting to work on making this ruin into something resembling an actual habitable building. How fucking nice for us. Now, as you may have gleaned from your dialogue with Jameson, he'll be off delivering unrealistic praise of my joint to all who will listen. However, he won't be in the state of New California to sing my praises, and California is where the whales are drifting so to speak. I need advertising that'll really appeal to the masses back west, and flowery text on paper simply won't do to hold their attention. Mouth breathers. No, I need a commercial, and I need it to be seen by a wide audience of exactly the sorts of lonely degenerates that will pay to play with titties. Oh, don't give me that fucking look. I won't be needing you to be doing anything in front of a camera. I've already got everything filmed. Um... Can I get at least one cameo room? roll? Were this commercial an epic that would make Shakespeare weep up in heaven, uh, assuming he's a movie fan, I would gladly cast you. However, this commercial is just 15 seconds of a topless hooker telling everybody to head to Prim and give me their cash. Nothing fancy. Not to suggest I won't be gleefully sticking film director onto my resume, because I absolutely fucking will. So what do I gotta do? Well, see, I don't want to pay for distribution rights. I'd rather this lovely little advertisement simply find its way to the eyes of my audience. If my film were to simply fall into the middle of someone else's pre-cut, pre-edited footage, and if there already happens to be a studio here in the Mojave that primarily distributes to California, and if... Uh, wait... Oh, fuck it. Vague euphemism isn't how I fucking speak. Look, there's a porno studio near North Vegas Square. I need you to go there, find something they're about to distribute, and stick this holotape somewhere in the middle. Easy. One caveat, though. Right now, we're being fraudulent cheapskates. When our act of espionage is discovered, nobody will care. They would care if our commercial came with a body count. So please, avoid murdering the studio's security people. If you do, I'm docking your pay. Right, so, here's the footage. Don't lose it, if you'd be so kind. Off you go now. Remember, don't kill any of the guards. Right, got it. Charlie, we're gonna go put an advertisement out in the porn. Oh. <laughs> uh, I think it's here? Alright. Yeah, I think this is the right place. Oh, wait a minute. Ah. Alright, Charlie, you're gonna stand guard, right? I had to wait three days for a target to walk by his window once. Paul Sai was telling you not to kill any of the security in this storage area. It would likely behoove you to leave your companions if you brought any outside. I already thought of it. T 
Damn, how much porn are they storing in there? Examine contents. Create contents 415,723. Cease and desist orders. Destination Furnace. Create contents. 3,000 copies of Breaking the Fourth Wall for stupid dumb idiots. Just don't. You aren't funny. Tamper with footage. You quickly stick the advertisement, hollow tape, and the rest of this completed footage, and then close it up tight. Uh, great contents. Forty-eight million. Chris Blues patent pending big boner buddy tablets. Dang. Forty-eight million. for our stealth boy to recharge. NCR took back Nelson. Maybe they can win this war after all. Uh, three emergency fake tape replacement kits. Twenty-three porno posters for Busted Nut 2, the hardest cop in the city. Underneath the shipping manifest, someone has scribbled, Burn these posters. Woodcock will never work in this town again. Two point eight nautical tons of Professor Penetration's industrial strength butt lube. Placement kits. Five thousand and seventeen copies of Advanced Dildonics and Your Practical Guide by Dr. Longdong Silver PhD. Advanced Dildonics. Alright, Charlie. Over here. You, go. you thought you could hide from me? Damn! Damn! Ah! Oh yeah, that means more for me. Come on! Great score. Try that. I grabbed you a copy of Advanced Dildonics. Charlie? Where are you at? Where the hell is she?
This note is written in the most appalling handwriting you've ever seen in your life. Steve, I got a brilliant idea for a great score for us, man. We don't go in North Vegas Square because we'd get killed, but there's a fucking porn studio right outside the gate, man. If we go there and kill everyone and burn the place down, then we take all the porn they we're keeping. We would be the only guys in Vegas with it, and everyone would be so desperate for porn that they would pay us mega money signs. So let's go kill some motherfucking porn stars. Sincerely, your friend Johnny. Charlie Fall. Oh, yeah. here we go. Oh, you're starting to get a little bit of a roof put on. Who's this? Oh, why, hello there. You must be the one helping Silas with all the tedious minutiae of establishing a business. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Please, call me Molly. Uh, so what's your deal? My role is quite simple, really. I manage, well, I will manage the services of the escorts working here once construction is completed. I have a touch more experience in the sex trade than Silas, you see. Plus, it's not unwise for him to employ me as something of a buffer. There's something of a tendency for people to look askance at alcoholic middle-aged men running prostitution rings. Folks love to assume the worst. Personally, I've known Silas long enough now that I'm convinced he wouldn't exploit his employees, but how many people are in my position, hmm? Uh, how do you know Silas? I'm not sure whether you know this or not, but in his younger days, Silas was... I suppose you'd call it an enforcer for the Bishop family in Reno. Myself, I also worked under their auspices in a somewhat less well-regarded profession. Silas was a regular customer in my place of business. Eventually, it struck me that judicious use of his talents could only ever drum up success in my industry. And so we began working together. Neither of us much fancied spending our lives in Reno, and we parted company for many years. But my time working in a brothel has left me with some notion of how to properly keep the operations running smoothly and cleanly. So when Silas decided to open his own business, I was rather well suited to manage the various employees he would need to acquire. Hmm. Uh, personal questions? It's flattering that you're interested, but darling, please. I'm putting on a comfortable face, but this seat is terrible and it's too hot to think. Surely your questions will keep until we're safely inside and air-conditioned. Yes? Fair enough. Can I help you with anything? Oh, absolutely. I have a job I think you'd be well suited for. If for no other reason than how ill-dressed I am for traipsing about the desert. If we're to run a successful venture here, we need a wider variety of professionals. To cater to any possible desires our customers may possess. And if in the process of hiring these new employees, we happen to undercut local competition, well, who could possibly object? To that end, I'd very much appreciate it if you could make a trip to Sloan. It's come to my attention that a young woman has recently moved in. It's a clever move, as she's the only local accommodation that those poor quarry workers have to turn to. No doubt she's making a healthy profit. Myself, I'd prefer that those gentlemen take the extra effort of coming here when they have an urge, and paying us for the pleasure. And if we can acquire the services of a clever escort to pad out our own roster, all the better. To that end, I've drafted terms that anyone with sense should find agreeable. Please, deliver them to the escort in Sloan. And hope she's Uh, is this girl in Sloan the only competition we have to worry about? Wouldn't it be nice if that were the case? 
I'll freely admit I'm something of a perfectionist, and the notion of any possible competition irks me somewhat, so keep that in mind. But as it happens, there's a little outlaw haven by the name of New Rockwell that isn't overly far from Prim or the Mojave Outpost. Oh, I've been there. I have it on good authority that those Hellions have their own brothel. Not to suggest that they're the sort of clientele I'd like to cultivate. But competition is competition. And I've no doubt that Silas and or Eli can keep any customers well behaved. Oh well, it is what it is. Um, their brothel only has one working girl and no pimp. Oh, well, that's good to know. It sounds as if they scarcely qualify as competition, if that's the case. I suppose it wouldn't hurt our profits over much to let those dirt-covered criminals keep their little hillbilly bunny ranch. Thank you for letting me know. Here's something for the thought. Um, right. Of course. Don't let me keep you. Yes? I uh, infiltrated the porn studio and stuck your ad in with the rest of the footage. Never thought I'd be saying that. Good for you. Risking life and limb all for a chance at forcing advertising onto an unwilling public. Why, the old world would be so proud of us. However, in a shocking turn that would horrify and enrage those old corporate ghosts, I reiterate that I don't want innocent blood spilt for profit. That in mind, you didn't happen to murder any of the studio security, did you? No. Excellent. While I've no doubt that the warm, fuzzy feeling of not hurting anyone is surely reward enough, here's some payment all the same. So what's the next step in the project? Getting the equipment necessary to keep a steady stream of liquor of flowing the direction of my happy little enterprise. To make a long story charmingly brief, there once lived a talented moonshiner in the little shanty town of Cottonwood Cove. Alas, when a gaggle of murderous men in skirts descended upon the region, my associate was forced to leave his equipment behind. I have it on good authority that those faux Roman fucks broke it all down into base components and tossed it into a box in a storage cavern. So, find the cave, find the box, bring it right on back to me, and we'll be that much closer to living the financially stable fucking dream. Oh, yes, and recall how I didn't want you murdering those innocent security guards at the porn studio? Well. The Legion are a crew of raping, pillaging, slaving, mindless marauders, and I don't give a good goddamn if you kill every last one of them. Happy motherfucking hunting. Okay. Well, before we go grab that box, we gotta go to Sloan and pick up. So I heard you were looking for me. I also heard that I got caught and arrested. flies off the way it came. Oh, shit. Uh, well, yeah, Hurst from Depths of Depravity, he was the great con, well, he was the guy at the great con place that we were uh, working with to do the investigation into Senator uh, Burke. And I'm guessing that was, um, I think his name was Blake that sent 
that the, the NCR wanted us to try to draw out Blake, and they told us that they captured him, but according to the IBOP, he's still out there. So that's interesting. I'm looking forward to that. Um, so yeah, before we go get your box, let's go to Sloan and grab another box. Dance. I apologize if that was mildly offensive. Oh, shoot, what? This is hopeless. Y'all better not have killed Chomp Lewis. Teach you to mess with me. Our victory at Nelson's a worthy story to tell in my travel. All right. Snuffles, how you doing? Sniff, sniff. Bye bye. Baby, looking for... Wait, who are you supposed to be? Eh, new worker, traveler, whatever. I'm sure your money spends the same. Um, what's your story? Is that a serious question? I'm really not remotely interesting. Grew up dirt poor, parents liked to slap me around, ran away at 14, usual stuff. Got into, a uh, hookering once I realized that it was mostly easy money, and I didn't need any training. Eventually, I found Sloan. Good old Sloan, where almost every resident is an overworked, stressed-out dude looking for, uh, love. That's my story. Whole thing. Did you like it? Should I get to work on an autobiography? Uh... There's a job opening for you in a brothel in Prim. Terms are in this letter. Assuming a cheap quarry hooker knows how to read. Bold assumption. Granted, in my case, it happens to be true. Let's see. A room is part of the deal. Always good. Discount on liquor and drugs. Not bad. On my own for food, looks like. No surprises there. Well, look. This sounds right up my alley, so I'd say we've got a deal. Except... My pimp would never allow me to run off to Prim and work in livable conditions. Maybe I'd be free to take this offer if someone... persuaded him. Yeah, if you can just splatter a wall with his brains, I'd be happy to work at this joint in Prim. He usually hides out in this bunker up north a ways, full of security robots and high-end mercenaries. So bring your big guns and badass friends. What kind of fucking Let me mark it on your map there and... <laughs> nah, I'm fucking with you. I don't have a pimp. Sure, I'll head to Prim to work out the details with this Molly lady. Once you guys finish construction. Until then, I'll just be here. Thanks for the job offer. Hope you guys aren't secret cannibals. Um, I mean, I have some human flesh in the fridge over at the sink, but that's, uh, just personal. Um, I was gonna say, what kind of fucking pimp has robots and mercenaries? <laughs> okay. Um, alright, we'll cut here. Um, hope y'all enjoyed. Have a great day.